Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bronte. I am really excited because this week we are talking about my Hobonichi cousin, Spring Start. Um, so if you're new to the channel or if you haven't watched for a little while or anything like that, um, background <laughs> is that I was previously, or I technically am still, in the B6 Common Planner from Sterling Inc. And I ordered from Sterling Inc. in January, I ordered a an A5 common planner um, with the view to swapping into that um, and just having more space. Um, the parcel from Sterling Inc. got lost in the post. Um, so I never received the common planner. Sterling Inc. refunded me. They were great um, with helping with the you know, tracking and whatever. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the the order was lost. And I don't think I've ever like properly talked about that on YouTube because people have been asking me, what happened to your A5 common planner? And I just realized I forget to tell you these things. Um, it was lost in the post. So yeah, I was, um, I'm trying to remember what the thought process was. I think basically I was just really kind of craving not more structure but like a bit of a bigger size and like I love Hobonichi I kind of feel like I will always go back to Hobonichi um I'm using a Hobonichi Weeks this year as my reading journal um not as a planner uh I I love the weeks so much and I think I will always have one in my lineup every year um I think it will take the form of a reading journal but yeah, um, so <laughs> I basically was thinking about a a cousin and I happened to look on the journal shop, which is a UK based stationery shop. And they had this on sale in March, which I don't know why it was on sale because it hadn't even started yet. Um, and I got it for like £32. So here we are. I have the spring start cousin and this is going to be planning and journaling all in one book which is kind of what i'm doing this year uh previously i've kept planning and journaling separate but in actual fact i i like having everything in one big book so yeah i thought we could talk through today about how i'm going to use this book um it will be kind of similar to the common planner but not the same because obviously the common planners um Common Planner has daily pages at the back of the book, but they are undated. So uh, you can kind of make your own layouts and you can, you know, start your your day right, right at the bottom of the page. If you were, you know, if that's where the space is. But the cousin has uh, pages for every day. Um, so that should be in this pocket. So in the front, I've got dots for my commonplace key uh, and this is the key I have dots for um, knitting planners and stationery books personal notes and ideas and collections and reference so I think they're all pretty self-explanatory but basically what I don't do proper commonplacing in as far as I understand commonplacing I kind of use these dots to mark notes that I have made about these topics so I'm a knitter and I do a lot of knitting. I work in a knitting shop, so <laughs> knitting is on my brain quite a lot. And if I have ideas about things or um, notes on a new project that I'm working on, I will tag them with this blue knitting dot. Um, and then it's just easier for me to find when I'm kind of flipping through, trying to find where I've written something down. Um, and then the planners and stationery one, I tend to... Uh, find it easier to think through things like purchasing a new planner or like uh, doing something differently. I tend to find working through that by writing my thought process down in kind of a stream of consciousness sort of way really useful. And that tends to be what these uh, this tag is, is just like me rambling about, oh, maybe I could do it this way instead. And just kind of working things through like that. Um, books is uh, notes about books or 
um, uh, if I want to write a mini review in here, that tends to be reading journal stuff. But sometimes I do that in, in my uh, planner journal as well. Uh, personal notes and ideas tends to be kind of... I don't even know what that tends to be, actually. I'm just trying to think of an example. Um, I think that's honestly the dot that I use the least. Um... Maybe it would be, I don't know, like an idea about um, some, like rearranging something in my flat or I don't know. I think you get the idea though. I literally cannot find where I've used that dot. Um, here, Patreon notes. Okay, so the Patreon notes that I made got uh, tagged with personal notes. So... Um, oh, and if I make notes on a YouTube video or something, that would be tagged with that dot. And then collections and reference is like um, lists, uh, like a TBR list or a... Um, what else is tagged with that? <laughs> My brain's gone blank. TBR list. Um, oh, this is tagged here because I was doing layout ideas, I think. Yeah... And then, like, where else? So then all my collections are at the front of this book. So um, we've got, like, a low buy, year, ink wish list, online orders. These are things I'm not planning to transfer to the cousin, I have to say. Um, because I don't really... I set these up at the beginning of the year, but I don't reference these. Content ideas. I may transfer this one. Um, and my TBR, yeah, gift ideas. The the cousin actually has this spread built in. Um, but I haven't updated this for like over a month. So <laughs> yeah, we're not doing so well. Uh, stuff for my Animal Crossing Island. I just don't, I don't need to transfer this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the sort of thing that goes with collections. So yeah, I use these dots that are from Stationery Pal, I think. Um one of those green ones has come off somewhere. I found it crumpled up at the back. <laughs> um, so there's a dot missing, which is so annoying. I just made this sheet last night um, with uh, an old piece of backing paper from another sticker sheet that I used up. And then, yeah, these dots come off of like a big roll. And I put them on this for ease and also for... Um, yeah, aesthetic purposes, not gonna lie. Uh, the paper that it comes on is um, quite narrow and very flimsy. So um, they're kind of hard to store on those sheets and this is nice and flat and like a quite a thick piece of uh, sticker paper. So it's easier. So that's tucked in here. Okay, and then we've got a little bit of deco. Um, I'm obsessed with this jumper. So I just keep transferring this cut out uh, between my planners. <laughs> Um, I have, uh, this is my name written in my sister's handwriting because it was on a birthday card envelope. Um, and then this card is from Faded Chronicle. Uh, then I have some Paper Bits Co. Uh, sampler sheets and a um, theory, theory of Lauren freebie from Paper Bits Co. Which I, I just don't want to use it. I love it so much. So yeah, that's at the front there. We've got... Coffee Monsters Co. stickers. Uh, so I decided to put down 2024 and 2025 because this planner does run through to the end of March 2025. And then this beautiful die cut sticker is from Maragona Suli on Etsy. And my little paper clip with the emoti head is from the Coffee Monsters Co. So if we turn the page, um, there is a like a header page in here that I've just um, paper clipped because I don't need to see that um, so we've got 2024 at a glance and then there's 2023 and 2025 as well uh, 2023 we don't need to reference so I don't know maybe I would cover this with like a key dates list or something we'll see or I can like put a sticky note here or something I don't know okay so then this is the spread that I'm struggling slightly to work out how I'm going to use it um, this is the, well, I've seen people call this a calendex. So 
it's a calendar uh, you can use as an index essentially um, in my common planner I use the com common planner has this layout but with um, another page uh, like a blank page basically opposite um, um, so you get one quarter per double page spread uh, and I use that to track um, social media things so uh, I'm going to be at the beginning of every month I'll put in my Instagram followers and YouTube subscribers and then I do do some PR for a few brands now which is very exciting um, but as part of that I do have to you know mention the um, products a certain number of times per month or per week so I have some trackers in here so we've got Ferris Wheel Press um, and Faded Chronicle and my discount codes for those shops are in the description um, and then at the bottom I also have YouTube earnings and Patreon takings so YouTube, uh, the money I earn through YouTube gets put into my bank account every month as a direct debit. Um, and or it's like a bank transfer thingy. I don't know. It's like an automatic thing. Whereas Patreon, I can tr choose to withdraw that money or not. And that goes into my PayPal. So I tend to take money from Patreon if I would like to buy something specific. So this planner was technically bought for me by my patrons which um if you're watching i love you thank you everyone um so yeah um i just like to keep track of that stuff because it's um it's extra income for me which is amazing um and i just want to make sure that i'm not kind of um not wasting it but kind of um not fully uh kind of realizing how much extra money I have or like have spent um I hope that makes sense so then in the um list of the like the uh the month not it's not a list like this box of the month or like each row is a day of the month um I'm not sure what to put I'm not sure what to use it for um I could kind of disregard the dates and use it as like a little box for notes um or let's have a think what else could i do i've previously used it as a um as an index so for example if on the uh, 5th of march nope <laughs> 5th of may i um have some specific notes i would write that in here um the other thing I could do, I know people use these as trackers, which I'm not very good with trackers. I tend to forget to fill them out. Um, so I probably won't use it as a tracker. Um, maybe I could use it as like a, a whether I post on Instagram or like Patreon or something like that. Um, we'll see. Um, if you have ideas, please do let me know in the comments because I would love to know. Or if you know of um, accounts of people who use this spread in a really interesting way, I would really, please do let me know. I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, so that's the uh, calendex, the kind of year, year at a glance. Then we have the monthlies. So this planner actually starts in February, which I didn't need. And then it also has March, which I also don't need. Today is the 30th of March. So we are really nearly ready to start this book. Um, you'll be seeing this video on the 31st. Um, and I'm so excited. So um, the April spread has been filled out. I think this is going to work really well. I had a really fun time doing quite a bit of deco, so April, May and June are all decorated, um, actually all with Faded Chronicle stickers um, and different washi tapes. So I, for a little while, have been kind of, not wrestling, but like trying to reconcile like the two sides of my like sticker personality. So like half of me is... 100% Coffee Masters Co. And that like amazing, like cutesy, illustrative style. And half of me is the like vintage, 
um, kind of collage sort of style. And I just decided this fresh start is also a really great way to just kind of put all of that two halves thing aside and just have it all in all at the same time. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, we've got Coffee Monsters Washi and Faded Chronicle stickers on this spread. Um, the monthlies are for kind of high level planning of my month. So I have the days that I'm at work. Um, I've swapped a few days around this month with my, or we've had to swap a few days around this month with my boss because um, we're doing stock take and she's going away. So there's some t uh, kind of correction taped out bits. But I went through with a mild liner, not this one, um, a green, and just highlighted my work days so they're easy for me to see. I put in um, any significant events or like meeting with friends and things. Um, so Monday's a bank holiday, that's written in, and the um, quarter two subscriptions open for Coffee Monsters Co. Very important event that's gone in too. I tend to that kind of start those with an asterisk. Um, I'm going to a book event that's, you know, in here. Um, I mark my paydays. This is a Planet Monkey Co sticker. Um, and then in the red is what YouTube video I'm going to film that day. These have changed because <laughs> goals check-in, look, is crossed out. Um, I think goals check-in, I might move to like, I don't know when, um, just because um i realize i'm not i haven't done like a planner flip through for march i could just not do that and wait until uh may and do like april and march together anyway i've also uh, on this kind of far left hand side i've done a this month list so these are tasks to do for the month but there's no specific time to do them i just need to get them done this month I only have two things on here at the moment, but I probably will add more as we go through the month. Um, so yeah, that's how this is shaping up. So I have in work days, some work days for May and June. Um, I'm going away in June, so that's marked in. And then, yeah, I have also put down things right up until the... Um, kind of end of this planner which is March 2025 so yeah I used I should say as well I have used these um big typewriter font monthly stickers are from Planner Monkey Co I uh correction taped out underneath um let's see if we can find yeah so if you can see the month is written in here in uh, Japanese and English, but very small. And I'm really bad with like looking at a number and knowing instantly what month it is. Um, it's just, I don't know the way my brain works. So I've used these big stickers to help me. Um, so I correction taped out the small part because the Planner Monkey Co stickers are transparent. Um, so yeah, April would have been taped out and then covered. And then the big number stickers are from Poundland. Um, and I thought they were nice as well to kind of be really quite like bold about like, yes, June, you know, August, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that. That's the month freeze. Um, also, it feels really nice to have such a, a like a bigger box um, in the common planner. The monthly calendar is much smaller. So it's really nice to like, no, I've got space to like put multiple things per box because my handwriting's not, it's not massive, but also it's not, I don't have tiny handwriting. So yeah, I can spread out a little bit. Um, okay, and then this is my first week in April, first week of April, sorry, in this book. So I, before I dive in, I'm just gonna take a drink or have a drink, sorry, of coffee. I always, always let my drinks go cold. So I need to not do that. <laughs> um, so I set this up last night and I'm really pleased with this. I think, you know, things will move around and I'll find a different way of doing certain things probably, but this is really great for now. So um, 
I have divided the page in half, as you can see. Uh, the full column is just, I just don't need that per day. It's nice for memory keeping um, and if you have lots of meetings and things, I don't. That's, that's you know, I work in retail, I, um, I'm on the shop floor all day, I don't do meetings. So um, I just don't need to time block or have things, you know, have the full column for the, for the day. I just, it's just not necessary for me. So I divide the page in half and in the top half, I will do day specific tasks and events. So for example, we've got bank holiday marked in and then my work days, I have used Planner Monkey Co stickers. And then I'm off uh, next weekend, which is nice. So I don't have to work on the Saturday. Then I've marked in day specific tasks. So on Mondays, I always film my Patreon exclusive video and I often will take photos for Instagram for the week. And Tuesday, I tend to like to go through comments on YouTube because my videos go live on Sundays. So by Tuesday, I normally have some comments to reply to. Uh, Wednesday, my Patreon exclusive video goes live. So that is marked in. Friday, I film for YouTube. Uh, and then Saturday, I'm meeting my friends. So that's in there. Um, and then Friday, I also, one of some of my Monstera plants have a bug at the moment and I need to spray them once a week. So <laughs> Friday is my plant spray day. Uh, and then at the bottom, I will talk or I will, sorry, write in um, week t tasks for the week. So um, I've got like just like laundry and like I need to write a book review, things like that. It doesn't matter what day I do it, it just needs to get done. Uh, I've also used here an asterisk to mark in the fact that I skipped my Lumicrate uh, subscription this month. And then I wrote, maybe I should cancel question mark because I keep skipping Illumicrate books um, because they're just not really appealing to me right now. So yeah, um, so that's on the left. And then on the right is a list of kind of ideas of photos to take for Instagram or um, things to photograph basically. So yeah, uh, how many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are enough for the full week, but um, maybe I wouldn't uh, do this. And if I kind of start going through my books or like laying out flat lays and things, I will get inspired and do something a bit different. This is kind of a jumping off point. Um, but yeah, uh, I can cross this off though, because I have edited my reel and I also did actually leave this book review so that's good. So then in the uh, far left column I've got a tracker for my meds I just have to I have to take them every day so it helps me to kind of cross them off. Um, I've never done one like this normally I draw it in a little table but this I thought was a cool experiment. Um, I used my Tombow Fudnoske brush pen in the hard tip to write in meds and then I did days of the week and then I put a little dot and then when I take them I will cross through that dot uh, and then at the bottom here I've got um, a Planner Monkey Co sticker for my currently reading um, I just like to mark in what I'm reading that week it's nice when I look back through my books so yeah so this deco is quite like vintagey I did put this into um, my Avec that I was previously using, you know, earlier in the year, um, and I actually peeled this, these stickers all off of that page because I wanted to um, recreate the spread because it was really nice. Um, but then next week is blank, and I will do a plan with me for next week, and we can set this up together. I've pulled out a Coffee Monsters kit, some star stickers, labels from Coffee Monsters Co, and then some really lovely house plant stickers from The Giving Girl. And I think we'll do, we'll set up this spread and then we will set up the week in the back or in the daily pages as well. So that's next week. Um, and then I also put down these Coffee Monsters banners to divide this third week. Um, 
because I had a brainwave and I knew I like had I was thinking oh I could use that's a really good use of those banners because I have quite a lot of these banners because I just love them um and I thought oh I could use them as a divider because normally I use washi tape but yeah I think this looks really cute so I had to stick them down so I remembered and uh, I'm excited to fill this spread out because I do have a kit that goes with this as well so maybe we'll use that kit so that's the weekly so obviously there's a, a lot of them <laughs> um, and then we go to um, Hobonichi have this uh, turning the page spread I've put my mood boards vision boards whatever you want to call them on this spread um, and I just I did this last night and I just added a little bit of deco so uh, I added dot stickers from plant and stow and the bench and the lampposts are giving girl stickers and the star stickers are from WH Smiths um, but yeah these are my like vision boards for 2024 um, I've just kind of got things that I um I don't know they're nice to look at but also they're kind of relevant to what I want to be doing or wearing or thinking about in 2024 so we've got coffee and like beautiful knitwear um bookshops planners um yeah books quite a lot of books here coffee shop here um yeah this jumper I'm going to recreate uh, the stripy one Here's my swatch. <laughs> um, if you're interested, by the way, in my knitting, I talk about knitting a lot more over on Patreon. Um, so yes. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm gonna recreate this jumper. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's gonna kind of be, it's not gonna be like a huge project because I know exactly what I'm gonna do, but it's exciting anyway that I put this on my vision board and then it's kind of snowballed into me recreating the jumper. Um, I just put keep going here because I think that that's just like something really important for me to remember. Um, sometimes it's just enough to keep going. Um, and yeah, I think I like that as a reminder. And then in below, I have write in your books, go to bed early and get some fresh air because those are all things that I need to do more of. <laughs> um, so yeah, then we turn the page to April. So I also have the... Hobonichi Spring Pencil Board, um, the Shibata Kieko. I just had to buy this, the mice. This is the mouse that sold it to me, I love it. Um, I love the fact that the Today tab is yellow and the green on the back is a really lovely spring green. So yeah, good addition. Um, okay, so on the kind of, I always call this the header page for the month, I will probably be doing a low spend spread because I'm going to New York in uh, August, it's going to be quite an expensive trip for me. So I'm trying to do quite a, quite a lot of low spend sort of things or like, you know, not just like constantly ordering washi tapes because otherwise I will constantly order washi tapes. <laughs> um, so I just have some kind of goals or like pointers for myself for each month for low spend. Um, yeah so for example i i'm going to a craft market in april so i will let myself spend some money at that market if i want to um there is uh some books coming out that i will want to buy i'll let myself get those things because otherwise i'm just gonna make myself miserable <laughs> um but yeah it's just kind of like um you know i'm saying oh you don't need to buy xyz like I don't need new pens, I don't need new inks, I've got plenty of that stuff at the moment. Um, I think dot stickers should go on that list, I do not need any more of those. Um, yeah, things like that. <laughs> um, so, for the daily pages, I'm using Hobonichi's um, invisible margin that is drawn in and I have drawn it in to make it more obvious. Um, so my tasks for the day go on the left and I've written in the day of the week as well just because I don't know this to me is not so obvious like the number fine but the the, the day I just like having it written out I guess um, and then I will put either like day specific tasks in here or at the top I couldn't decide so I just wrote it here um, and then 
the bottom part of the page I will use for journaling. I journal with fountain pen, so my everything else is written with UniJet Stream in a 0 0.5. This jet stream I got from Cult Pens, no, the journal shop when I ordered this book. But I also use the Hobonichi jet stream pens a lot as well. I just really love the way that they write and they make your pages really crinkly, uh, which I love. So yeah, um, the journal entries are quite kind of, they stand out because I write in fountain pen. So you can see here, all of this um, yellow is fountain pen um, and the journal entries stand apart from my tasks. So that's what I will continue to do in this book. Um, so yeah, journaling is at the bottom. And then if I have any commonplace notes or like just like a general like scribbled notes list that I need to write, I will put it up here. So yeah, I think this is gonna work. I will also be doing weekly themes. So my whole week is gonna have the same kind of sticker theme running through it. I'll use either like, for example, I've used Coffee Monsters washi tape and this pet tape that I have a sample of um, as the theme. Um, so I've put in all of my tasks per day. Thursday I don't have anything, so I just haven't written anything. Um, and also, obviously, these are going to get filled up as I actually use the book. Um, yeah, so then the following week, as I mentioned, we'll do a plan with me for this spread. But then the week after, I have also filled out. So um, I have used this Coffee Monsters washi tape instead of drawing in the line, which I think looks really cute. Um, and this tape sample is from Hours Studio. My friend has this tape and she gave me a loop of it. So yeah, that's what we've got going on. Um, I'm really excited, if you can't tell. I feel like I've talked really fast, but yeah, I think this is gonna be really fun. Um, it It is a chunky book to be carrying around with me because I do take this, I do take my planner to work with me. Um, it tends to stay in my rucksack uh, or in my bag unless we have to look at dates for things but I like having it with me um, and I know it's a heavy thing to carry around but I just don't care <laughs> or I do care but like I don't mind <laughs> um, so yeah I think that's that's the summary of how we're going to use this book um, you will be able to see these pages filled out when you come back next week, if you come back next week. Um, and I think it's going to be really nice. I'm really excited to be back in the cousin. I don't want to stress too much about not filling up pages. Um, I don't want to pressure myself to fill up pages. I don't want to like feel like I have to fill out the page. Um, I don't want to pressure myself to write a journal entry every single day. Sometimes I just can't be bothered or I've had a, you know, I've had a long day or I'm tired or like we get home late if we've seen friends or something, then I'm not going to stress about writing a journal entry. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's everything guys. Oh, before I go, I will show you, I did stock up the back of this book with my functional stickers. So Mainly, I keep my functional stickers in this Planner Monkey Co. sticker wallet. Uh, but there are a lot of kind of things like waiting to be used in here. So, you know, like full sheets that I bought two of. Um, so I set up a kind of mini version of that in the back here. We've got loads of sticky notes uh, because I like to have lots of different sizes of sticky note on hand. Then I've got all of my Plan and Stow dot stickers are in this pocket and my Planner Monkey Co. like kind of credit card sized minis are in here. So I've got payday, work, currently reading and then like some tabs. I've got arrows, days of the week, asterisks, clouds, stars and then these are book related ones. So those are all just tucked back here. And they fit perfectly. And by the way, this cover is from Lauren Phelps Designs. 
I got mine from Cute Stickers Only, who is a Lauren Phelps Designs retailer here in the UK. Um, and then in the Hobonichi uh, Yumi Kitagishi A6 wallet, I've got um, the Scribble stickers, which I also use as a signifier for just like general ramble notes in here. I should have mentioned that. Um, so I've got, yeah, I've nearly finished the sheet, so I've got another wait, waiting to go. Light bulbs, uh, we've got more dot stickers, days of the week, and then some uh, Paper Bits Co stickers that are kind of like, just like good to have uh, to hand. I've got my coffee monsters, tiny icons. I have the book, drinks and money ones. Um, I have a sheet of dot stickers from The Giving Girl. These paper K date stickers or like number stickers, which I'm using, I'm using the grid ones for April. Um, I've got a sheet of dot stickers I put together just because I don't know. I was in a roll last on a roll last night putting dot stickers onto sheets. So um, I've got more Planner Monkey Co. Um, month stickers. I may use these for my low spend spreads, kind of header pages. Then we've got some um, more dot stickers from this, these are from pen and pages, but I was sent these by um, the lovely lady who runs Charter 91 or Charter, is it Charter 81? I forget, I'll put it on the screen. Oh, and then some Megan Rhiannon functional stickers that I need to use up because um, they've been sat around for a little while, but they're so nice and I think they're good to mark in things. Well, obviously they're good to mark things in, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's what's in there. Yeah, I will speak to you next week. We'll do a plan with me and you'll kind of get to see how I'm using this book. Um, see some of the pages nice and full, hopefully. Or well, not so full, that's fine. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you everybody for sticking with me. And I will speak to you soon. Have a lovely week. Bye.